The fourth and final, I believe this is Go's Weather Satellite. Go's. Okay, yep, this right. is a new feel for me. So it's ready <laughs> to launch from NASA's uh, Kennedy Space Center today, which is pretty cool. That's right. Go stands for Geostationary Operational Environmental Satellites. Okay. So they provide valuable weather tracking data. And I did speak to one of the NOAA experts uh, on what this launch today means for the program. All right, the nation's most advanced fleet of weather satellites is about to get an update. Later today, the fourth and final installation of NOAA's GOES R series will launch from NASA's Kennedy Space Center. We welcome NOAA expert and meteorologist Jordan Girth from Cape Canaveral. Where goes you will launch in just a few hours. Welcome, Jordan. Appreciate you taking the time to talk to us today. Good day to you. <laughs> so this is an exciting day for those of us that like weather and, of course, that like space uh, weather. Tell us a little bit about what's going on today with this GOES-U mission and what it's going to accomplish. We're very excited to launch the final satellite in the GOES-R series. This GOES-U satellite is a geostationary operational environmental satellite, and that's the same satellite that provides imagery to your viewers of clouds, wildfires, perhaps even lightning data. Mm -hmm. This is the nation's premier weather satellite. It helps our National Weather Service meteorologists in all types of weather. And it the great thing about the GOES series is the satellite orbits with the Earth, so it's always looking in the same spot on the Earth. And because our country is so vast, we have two satellites in the series, uh, one on the West Coast, one on the East Coast. And this particular satellite is going to be a technology refresh for the one on the East Coast. Okay, so it's going to work in conjunction with the other f three satellites, I understand. So how, how will these instruments help forecasters? You mentioned it's uh, for here in Utah, we talk about wildfire conditions, lightning data. Those are all things that we're worried about here. Uh, how are these satellites and this data going to help us uh, as meteorologists or as forecasters moving forward? The data from the GOES series is a very frequent imagery. So with the GOES series, we've been able to take pictures of clouds, wildfires, uh, whatever kind of environmental phenomena is frequently is every 30 seconds if we need to. And that gives us a lot of information about if it's an explosive wildfire event, how quickly the fire is growing, if it's a thunderstorm, uh, you know, how severe it is. So there's a whole host of in weather information that comes from being able to image that quickly. And it, this is combined with the resolution. From 22,500 miles away, we're able to get down almost to the neighborhood level with the GOES series satellite. So we're seeing immense precision down to the mile or so resolution of all of these cloud features, wildfires, uh, whatever uh, needs to be sensed in the day. So tell us a little bit more, more about the launch today. Uh, how can viewers watch it? What times are gonna take shape? And when can we start expecting to receive data from uh, this new GOES U satellite? The GOES satellite will be launching at uh, hopefully the beginning of our launch window is around 3.15 p.m. Mountain Time. Okay. Uh, you can watch it on uh, NASA.gov. You can also follow along on social media, the NOAA Satellites account, N-O-A-A. -A. Um, the data from the satellite will take a little bit of time before uh, it's able to be accessed because it's going to take about a month to reach its orbit. Um, so the launch, even though it begins today, doesn't finalize for another month or so. And then our engineers are going to go through the process of testing out the instruments, calibrating them, making sure they work. And then once it's ready, it'll be put into, into its proper location and the data will start flowing to our meteorologist and to TV stations. All right, can't wait. I know we'll be able to access that data even here in our weather computers at ABC4 in Salt Lake, so pretty exciting times. Interesting to hear that it's a month away, I guess, from really getting up and going, too. So uh, thank you, Jordan, for taking the time to talk with us today. We'll have to have our viewers tune in for the launch. Hope it's a successful window, and we look forward to uh, working, I guess, with the data from NOAA in the future. Go goes you. <laughs> All right, have a good one, Jordan. Thanks. Thank you. Pretty cool there. Yeah, it's, it's awesome incredible. Yeah, the amount of information, especially with the other GO satellites that are already in orbit, the information we get from those is just much further ahead yeah. than some of the previous satellites we've had. So, Well, and coming at a crucial time, too, obviously, yeah. with fire season, yeah. hurricanes, you name it. So that's going to be able yeah. to help with all of that, right? So it's going to be, yeah, the SpaceX, SpaceX Falcon Heavy rocket launched today at about 3.16 our time. If you yeah. want to tune into SpaceX's website, yeah. of course, NASA.gov. Watch it. There we go. Thanks, yeah. Nate.